Welcome again. In this video, I'm going to explore the folder structure for our Vue.js application. So this is going to be a short video, but I will explain everything you need to know. So I will open the Vue Basic that we have created in the previous video in the VS Code, and here is the folder we have. So starting from the README, README is just the basic uh, uh, of the, the basic uh, stuff that you can read, how to install, how to compile, how to build, how to test. These are just the simple comments. You can remove it. And the other one is the post CSS config here. Uh, while we were installing our application, I said that we, we want to have a separate uh, configuration file for our CS, post CSS and other stuff. Here is the configuration file. You can uh, put all the configuration here. For now, we have only auto prefix. It means any CSS you write, it will automatically add the prefix for the new CSS3 properties. So this is configuration for now. The package.json, of course, it will list all the packages you need for your application. If you are new to this style of programming, like package.json using npm and all sorts of stuff, you have to do a little research about Node.js, npm, stuff like that. But for now, I assume you know what are the the package the json and stuff like that the lock one is you don't touch this one because this will be generated based on the package the json so as uh, you can see this is the configuration for bevel bevel is of course it is going to compile all the es6 code to a vanilla javascript or the old version of javascript so i'll close that one this is the configuration for that one of course any of your app of your view uh, view file will be compiled and the get ignore you know it is going to ignore all the this type of files especially the this one which is created in the mac node module this folder it is if you are running git it is not going to check this folder yes lint is for the error handling for now i will not touch this one this is of course the configuration file but i will show you why this is important and how it is going to give you some nice tips and tricks about best practicing and coding and browser list here i will just close it for now what we are interested is in the source directory here so if you open source directory all your coding style all your changes will be in the source directory public is where you can see on the in the browser this is just a single html5 you don't need to touch this one of course you can bring uh, some changes here but mostly you don't bring the changes here what you can do is you can write all your you can bring all the changes in the source code and it will compile down everything to the disk directory for now we do not have it because you know this is the application here when you build it it is going to create your disk directory for you later we have not built it yet so we have just compiled it for now you can see we have the router because we install view router while we install our application we have a separate file for storing our route for now, I will not touch the router because you might not know what is router because I assume we are learning the basic of Vue.js. All your component, assets, the logo, images will be in the asset, component, and view. If you check out the live side here, now you have two components here. One is the home, one is the about. Where are those components? This only in the view, home and about. This will contain all the information here. This is uh, how you develop your view application like this. You have for every page you will create a component and every component you know it has a dot view file here. If you see the icon here and if you can see this nice template uh, coloring, I will show you in the next in the next video uh, some of the tool for Visual Studio Code as well as for the Chrome. Uh, if you are developing a view application, those are the dev tools you must have. So going to public this is the public file here and note module of course this is going to be stored all our your packages that you install using npm so this is a basic folder structure but our main focus is in the src directory and these are the place we are going to bring the changes so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video uh, thank you for watching that's it for this video